Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.33. O Parantapa, sacrifice resulting in realizing transcendental knowledge, Yan Yagyaha, is superior to the mere performance of ceremonial reeds and sacrifices, Dravya Maya Yagya, because, O Parta, the performance of all prescribed action culminates in transcendental knowledge. Sarardavashini Jnana Yagya, as described in Gita 4.25, is superior to Karma Yagya or Dravya Maya Yagya, which consists of material rituals and sacrifices, as described in Gita 4.24. One may ask, why? The answer is that the attainment of transcendental knowledge is the fruitful culmination of all action. In other words, fruitive action, karma, ceases to exist or loses its fruitive aspect after one attains transcendental knowledge or jnana. Sar Ardvarshini Prakashikariti in his commentary on this verse, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur quotes Sri Krishna as saying, Although all these sacrifices gradually lead to transcendental knowledge, then peace, and finally auspiciousness in the form of bhakti, as it dawns on the living entity, still there is something to be considered. From the above group of sacrifices, a person may sometimes perform either dravya maya yagya, ceremonial rites and sacrifices, or at other times, depending on his fate, he may perform jnana maya yagya, a sacrifice resulting in transcendental knowledge. This second type of sacrifice is far superior to the first, because, O Parta, all prescribed duty, karma, culminates in transcendental knowledge. When the performance of any sacrifice does not involve deliberation on that which is transcendental, then the whole activity is simply ritualistic. However, when the goal is spiritual progress, Despite being ceremonial, the sacrifices become spiritualized or transcendental and lose their fruitive materialistic nature. The aspect of sacrifice, which consists of material rituals, dravya, maya only, is called karma kanda. One must remain very conscious of this distinction while performing yagya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has also said, only those who worship Sri Krishna by the sacrificial process of chanting the holy names or Sankirtan yagya make their lives successful and are most intelligent. All others are foolish slayers of the self. The yagya of chanting the holy name of Krishna is supreme among all types of yagya. Performance of millions of Ashvamedha yagyas cannot be equated with one chanting the name of Krishna. Those who make such comparisons are religious impostures or hypocrites and Yamaraj punishes them in various ways. This is emphasized in Sri Chaitanya Chardamrita Adilila 3.77-79 Sankirtana Pravartaka Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sankirtana Yagyetandre Bhaji Se Danya Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya is the initiator of the sacrifice of Sankirtan chanting the holy name. One who performs this Sankirtan is fortunate indeed. Seta Sumeda Ara Kubudi Samsara Sarva Yagya Haite Krishna Nama Yagya Sara. Such a person is truly intelligent, 
whereas others are certainly foolish and must endure the cycle of repeated birth and death. Of all sacrificial performances, the chanting of the Lord's holy name is the very essence. Koti Ashvameda Eka Krishna Nama Sama Ye Kahe Se Pashandi Dande Tare Yama One who says that ten million Ashvameda sacrifices are equal to the chanting of one name of Lord Krishna is undoubtedly an atheist. He is sure to be punished by Yamaraj. Moreover, one's bondage to the material worlds is easily untied by chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, and by chanting the holy name of Krishna, one attains loving devotional service to him. Thus, in the age of Kali, all yagyas except the chanting of Krishna's name are useless, because they do not fall into the category of the eternal occupation of the soul. This is further clarified in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila 7.73-74. Krishna Mantra Haite Habe Samsara Mujana Krishna Nama Haite Pabe Krishna Ra Charana By chanting the name of Krishna, one can obtain freedom from material existence. Indeed, by chanting the Hare Krishna Mantra, one will be able to attain the lotus feet of the Lord. Nama vino kali kale nahi ara dharma sarva mantra sara nama e shastra marma In this age of Kali, there is no religious principle other than the chanting of the holy name. This name of Krishna is the essence of all the Vedas. It is the conclusion of all scriptures.